Hi guys, back with another video. Um, today I am going to be planning or not planning, back planning for this week here, which is the week of the 6th through the 12th. Um, let me make sure you're okay. You're good. And this is in the month of February, of course. I hope everything is going well with you guys. Um, let's get right into it. Okay, so I found this printable kit um, on a blog. The blog is called, um, shoot, Nicole Kelly. I will link the, um, what is it? <laughs> link the kit or link the blog so that you can give show some love to the creator um i just it comes with like the pdf file and then it also comes with the cut files um you are going to have to do a conversion from jpeg to or from pdf to jpeg for some of them or for both of them because they come as pdf files that makes any sense um i know that the silhouette cameo studio i think the pro is it the pro that has um an option to do conversions i'm not sure because i don't have i have the basic so yeah so this comes with a lot of good stuff you have your today you have some half boxes um, you have a lot of flags. Flags are my thing. Weekend banner. And then you have these beautiful boxes. I think it's supposed to be for like autumn, but I am like a, I will decorate for autumn all year round. Like, you know, how some people are with certain things. That's me. So, and plus it's pink. It's beautiful. So let's get into it. Um, Monday, actually, let me go. I'm going to go pull some washi. I almost forgot. Okay, so I just pulled this like really skinny um, washi from Simply Gilded. I'm always paranoid that your guys are not within the screen, but I need to learn to trust the, the phone. Okay, so I'm going to actually be probably, I don't know lazy and just I'm gonna pull this or I'm gonna just make this go all the way across um we need a we'll use this card here that my mother gave me about mothers and daughters and we'll use that as for cutting our washi so like I said I hope everything's going well with everybody out there um my thoughts and prayers are with Syria, um, Syria right now. Um, the total of casualties right now because of that earthquake are well over 33,000 people. And um, mostly, and I, I definitely have, it just tears me up the amount of pets that have lost their owners. So keep them in your thoughts and prayers. Um, good news. I don't know why or how I missed that one. How I just ripped it. <laughs> um, I got the job. I got the job that I applied for about two weeks ago at a local pharmacy in one of the, um, you know, one of the big hospitals in the area that I live in. Um, full benefits and that doesn't want to stay down. Um, I would only, or the, it's only open Monday through Friday, which is a win. It's a win. You know. Um, so that's that which is refreshing to know that I have employment now after over a year. 
this I don't know if it's the economy or just I just don't know why it took so long but I'm you know thugged it out I now know that I can survive without a lot of things and the next step in my journey here is to still live within my means because you never know you never know when it can happen to you so all right so we have that i always say i'm gonna pull on date. all right so i got these i pulled these these are from paper muse crafts um so i'm just gonna use these i mean it just goes with the goes with the whole pink theme I need some tweezers because once again your girl has her nails back um, if anybody is wondering I do my own nails I started doing my own nails when I was or when the pandemic started now I have gone to cosmetology school so I am very familiar with the anatomy and L and all that kind of fun stuff but it never really went into that wasn't like there's different niche 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 that's the word niche that you can get into when you I mean I guess that's every job I mean you could be a nurse for all different types of type there's all different types so same thing with cosmetology school but um, beforehand, I had been going to get my nails done religiously. I mean, even going when I shoot, couldn't barely afford it. Because if there's one thing about me, sweatpants, sneakers, hair not done, no makeup on my face. But my nails are going to be fire, okay? <laughs> I just, I've always been like that. So... Um, I use the system called Apre and it's spelled A P R E S. Um, and I do not regret anything, you know. <laughs> the moment I ordered the supplies and ordered the correct things from the company and tweaked it to the way I like to do things and got the right tools. It has more than, more than ever paved. So I'm gonna start putting these full boxes down. I'm using some different sticker paper. Guys, sticker paper research is gonna take, will take your whole entire life. <laughs> Um, being I used to sell stickers on Etsy, I am well aware that not all sticker papers are the same, not all manufacturers are the same, and quite frankly, like, I still carry the thought, even though I don't have an Etsy shop anymore, that if I don't like the sticker paper, I guarantee you, you don't like the sticker paper. Yeah. So I picked up this brand from Amazon, um, namely because I was limited to how much money I was going to spend on it because I had received some money as a gift from, from, from people and I didn't want to spend the, um, the money go all ham eggs and potato on it you know what I'm saying like you want to be a little bit more if anything not having a job has made me super conscious of where my money is going um so I bought this brand this brand is called it's from it's called koala brand koala the brand is the name of the manufacturer I will link it below um which one do I want to use let's use these um, and so far, um, it's been a hit. Like, I am not complaining. And you're talking about somebody that quite prefers online labels generally, but online labels is, they never, shoot, it's 
it's expensive. I I just nothing wrong with their paper, especially the waterproof mat, the also known as the unicorn paper. <laughs> That's like my favorite. But this is the semi gloss by that brand and besides my silhouette machine blade being tall and I keep forgetting to replace put the new blade in there I have another one that's why the struggle is real with getting the stickers off of the sheet but other than that I can't complain Oh yeah, so it was, the quantity is, there's like a hundred sheets and it was only like, it was like $10. It was, it was remarkably more affordable. You know what? I do not want that coming up. Oh, well, maybe it's stuck. Um, I'm going to put this girl down at the bottom. You know where I'm going to put it. <laughs> the same place I put a sticker at every single time. Um, it was just noticeably cheaper. And they have a series of papers that you can order. Like they're, they they um, have glossy, clear. They have just matte paper. I did order some of that. They have this clear. They have this like clear paper, but... For whatever reason, and that is one that I will not recommend to anybody. It, my laser printer, for whatever reason, did not like it, could not see it. Like, and it didn't matter. I tried all the tricks, and it just didn't, it wasn't working out for me. I'm gonna use this, put this weaker and banner down. Um, so I wind up returning the clear. I might just, you know order a small amount from online labels of the clear for projects um because i know that works in my laser printer um and then the other thing i ordered was the i guess it's their it, it's their premium vinyl so like it's their version of the unicorn paper and it was supposed to be um for inkjet but for, you know, I read the back of the, you know, just, you know, it's always good to read, guys. Um, I read the back and it's, you know, they have some like frequently asked questions. So it looked like there could have possibly be an issue, but you never know. You never know. I'm going to just put this across here. Um, this kit is stunning. Okay, so Monday. I got down to... Let's, I'm going to use this pen. This is the uh, Pentel Energel, that Cural, is this Cure brand? K-U, it starts with a K. You can get them at Target. K-U-R-A, I think, Cural. I'll, I'm going to put the link in the bottom because I can't spell. Um, okay, so Monday, I um, did reach out to the... I got, no, I got a call from the, one of the recruiters from another job that I had applied for. So I'm just going to notate that. Like I said, guys, this is a back plan. So I kind of know what happened, you know? Okay. So I'm just going to mark. Um, You know, that, ooh, I don't know if I, nope, I don't like, I don't like the way that that pen is writing. I'm so picky about the way things look. <laughs> um, So yeah, I got a call from that recruiter for another one, but I never heard back. It's so hard because it's almost like the recruiter's call and it's like, I know their job is to find the best candidate, but I really don't think that they really know what the job entails half the time. This is just my opinion. I'm going to use this pen instead. It's like a thinner 
Um, I'm going to let that dry. Um, but they don't really, really know. I'm going to use these. Let's use this down here. And I'm just going to notate because I think. Yeah, because there was a little bit more things that had happened. So I'm just going to notate that I went to the beauty supply. Yeah, this is, I don't know, finer tip pen is my jam. But, you know, they, they are, they're big, they're, um, they don't really know what the job entails. So a lot of times they go based off of how you sound or I don't I don't know how to explain it so <laughs> okay so then uh, I'm gonna notate that I got some happy mail in the mail I got my I only ordered one okay let me finish one conversation at a time apparently my brain is like all over the place yeah so the recruiter called me and it's like they put you through an it's almost like an, an interview it's an interview i it they say i guess it's in there it's like pre-screening interview i guess they're really just trying to make sure that that you know they don't waste the manager's time send somebody to interview for a position and then the person doesn't really qualify but a lot of times i feel throughout the whole job searching process that they were a um a hindrance um, to actually talking to a person and really conversating and showing the person that you're actually going to be working for that you are a candidate for this job. It's kind of like, you know, back in the day, you could go into um, a store and talk to the hiring manager, talk to the supervisor and, you know, make your presence known. But now you are almost blocked from getting access to them because a lot of them it's out of their control with hiring like they don't have this they don't have the ability to just outright hire people now it's you know corporations that are doing the the decisions or they've been completely you know almost kind of like brainwashed um into just whatever the recruiter sends my way is who I'm going to consider not thinking one you know one bit that the you know you're passing up good candidates for based off of the opinion of a recruiter that doesn't actually work in the field that they're recruiting people for if that makes sense okay so yeah that's that um here we go I'm going to use one of these stickers from Fox and Pip um, to mark down that I got my um, Van Gogh pen gem. That pen, guys, is absolutely stunning. Okay, so let me go back and mark that that recruiter called. I like to keep track of things, so just in case somebody calls me um, back and I have changes that have occurred when they call and they'd be like, hey, I talked to you on such, I can be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's that. It looks a little funny because the white out. Um, so I marked that the beauty supplies, Sally's, um, I did have some Chinese food because every once in a while I get into this thing and I suddenly want Chinese food for like two to three days, almost a week. You know, I could really go in and get some Chinese food. Like I'm going to use one of these, these arrows. And I'm just going to also layer it with something. So, yeah, I don't know. I got into a thing where I suddenly wanted it Chinese two to three days. <laughs> I actually, to be very honest, I could go for Chinese right now too. Um, and so I ordered that. And 
was everything that it was supposed to be and more. I knew I had a little Chinese sticker somewhere. These are from uh, uh, Crafts by Tali. Her icons are gorgeous. So I'm just going to notate that we had some Chinese. And then um, I did a new set of nails. Um, my standard go-to thing when I just, yeah. So I'm going to use one of these. I cannot remember where, I think it's Planning Pro or something. So where these came from. It's just like a little hand with nail polish. Um, and I just liked it because she made sure that there was different tones. So kind of looks like my hand. All right, um, so that's Monday. Um, Tuesday, I slept in. What else? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have a fun story for you guys. Tuesday, um, I'm just going to notate this because I like to kind of notate um, when my insomnia has gotten the best of me so that when I go to the doctor, I can tell her. And this definitely was a insomnia issue that's the reason why getting up was hard um I had to call Etsy now being I have sold on Etsy before I don't like really causing a problem you know I don't like it and if you follow me on Instagram you probably saw my status that I posted from Facebook onto Instagram to call out the fact that, bruh, you know? So, I'm going to use one of these stickers. I do not know where I got them from. Um. So, yeah, we're going to use one of these. So, I bought a, um, a necklace, a nameplate necklace, and... I, what I recall when I did my research, because that's what I do, I'm also going to use this not today saying. <laughs> actually, this actually belongs. Let's do this and then let's move that one up there. Um, And it said stainless steel. It didn't say plated because I'm one of those people that... And it's a firm believer in buying stainless steel, silver jewelry, fully silver jewelry, because it doesn't tarnish. Well, fast forward, I bought it about two months ago, and it started to show signs of tarnishing. And I asked the seller, um, You know, I was like, hey, I'm having an issue. This says that it's tarnish free. I hit her with all the screenshots. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used her against her. So basically, I just showed her, you know, this is what your listing says. And this is the problem. Um, She was taking her time answering me, which is also very annoying. Um, And so she wind up asking me. She kept asking me for, you know, when I ordered it, when I ordered it. I said, it doesn't matter when I ordered it. I don't care about your one month warranty. If something says it's not supposed to tarnish, that's that. That automatically negates anything else that you have, any other thing that you feel that, you know, you don't want to take care of because it's false advertising. And that's what a lot of businesses seem to forget is that you cannot keep playing people and think that it's okay. People are eventually going to have, you know, and we're at a time in the, in our lives where money is tight. And so when you 
really like something and then it does not meet expectation and you feel like you've been taken advantage of, it's gotten to the point, well, um, that now you got to call people on their crap. And that's exactly what I did. She kept asking me for when I ordered it. And it's like, instead of being lazy, I'm moving on to Wednesday here. So I'm going to mark that there was, you know, we have meeting on Wednesday. Um, instead of being the, the decent person that you should be when you're trying to keep a customer because yeah remember the customers make your business that's another thing everybody's like that's offensive to say and it's like no it's not it's the truth and i don't know where everybody kept getting in their feel have gotten into their feelings about people saying that that is still fact and if it hurts your feelings then maybe you need to reevaluate um so she went, she, you know, whenever she did answer, she kept asking for when I ordered it. And then I sent her, a, you know, I just sent it to, sent her, a, you know, a picture of um, when I ordered it. And she's like, oh, it is out of warranty, blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking to myself, like, nope, false. This is what your listing says. This is the result of what I got. And no i'm not taking no for an answer and it doesn't matter if you apply a one month warranty to anything if you're gonna say that something is tarnish free and i said you know what i've gone back and forth with you too many times actually more than i'm willing to um and i'm not the one to be played with so i didn't say that directly to her i just said I will be contacting Etsy. That's all I said. And she quote, I quote, she says to me, if that makes you feel better, you do so. Immediately, the thug in me came out. And it was like, obviously, this lady has no idea who she's messing with. And I'm about to show her. Because at this point, when somebody says something to you, about and they have an issue you just don't say something like that Wednesday I um I did call her name is her name is Kristen that is my new supervisor to check up on my you know after the interview so yep we did that um, I don't know. Remarkably, I, <laughs> I felt I needed a lot of coffee. So I'm going to use, that's probably why I picked this kit. I'm going to use this, um, coffee sticker to just notate. I was very sleepy this day. But anyway, going back to the seller, I wind up calling Etsy and they're very nice. Their customer service is kind of similar to like Amazon where you initiate the call on the app, I guess. And so I did make some, I'm just notate that I was just very sleepy. Um, the reason why I do this is because I have a heart condition and I just, when I go to the cardiologist, I can look back and be like, yeah, this day was notably different. Um, and they were very nice. They took care of me. I received it back in credits, which doesn't bother me a bit because Etsy takes all my money anyway. And that was that. And I reported her. I made sure that she, you know, they were aware that you have a seller out here doing the absolute most. Um, but yeah, that the beginning of it is we don't want to um we don't want to do that to people. Oh, I ordered sticker paper. So I'm just going to notate that down here. Order sticker paper. That's when I was doing my research. I was trying not to fall asleep because we have our meetings on Wednesday. And so I was face deep in trying to figure out which paper to get. Okay, so Thursday. Um... So that was Wednesday. Thursday, I cleaned the house. My house had become, it was looking a little too lived in, you know? So that's what I did. 
I got up and so I'm gonna use this. This is from Piper Paper Co. Do I wanna layer it on something? Yeah. Let's use this brown. Ooh. You know, that's the only problem with these transparent stickers is that if it's not the right color, it looks kind of off, but it'll have to do. Okay, so this is Thursday. I cleaned the house. Um, I'm just going to notate that I was up by 1030, which is, I'm just trying to get up as early as possible so that I don't like miss out on thing day. All right, and then I um, was painting. So I'm just going to use, I'm going to use this kind of like decorative box. Um, woo, 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 woo. Yeah, so that's what happened with the Etsy situation. Got that taken care of. Um, I'm just going to put this more painting because the painting project still is in full swing, guys. Um, oh, yes, 7 p.m. I had a work meeting for my less than contract job that I, I've been working, you know. I can't even count it as like a job because it's like I barely got anything. Um, so I'm just gonna team huddle and it was at 7 p.m. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna put this that it was a bunch of nothing. And that was just my opinion. Um... I organized pic the pictures in my house um, for hanging. I have really weird walls. Hold on a second, I gotta fix. Something is off. Let me take that off. Sorry, guys. That whole part was gray. Can't go back now. Um, organized pictures. Um, I have these walls. It's a really old house. So the walls kind of like crumble when I go to try to like put nails in there. Certain walls are a little bit more tougher than others. And the walls that are tougher, it's like concrete. Like you're trying to put a nail through concrete and it's really, really hard. So I have to be picky and choosy about what I put on the wall. The picture can't be too heavy. And I've been using those command strip hangers, but I have trust issues with those because I've seen things just fall off the wall. So <laughs> um, Friday, I went to go pick up my um, mother and aunt from the airport. So I'm just going to put this down there. Pick up um, an aunt. They went to Florida. I did not go to Florida this time around for personal reasons. Um, oh yeah, I did some, I had to go through my bills and see what was immediately due. Because like, you know, this is way before I knew I had a job that I was going to be eventually get paid again. All right, so I went through bill dues. This is Friday. Um, I also um, I went out in service. So I did some events, so we're gonna. Use one of these from Mr. and Mrs. Mint. Um, in the morning, 
and I'm just gonna put down what the hours were two hours um I did order some more paint ordered paint um I paid Verizon. That's another thing that we did. So I'm just going to put this here that I make a notation that I paid Verizon. And what are we going to use for that? Let's do, let's find a money type sticker. All these stickers and I always struggle to find what I'm looking for. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Um, did you guys watch the Super Bowl? I didn't. Um, I am a, I'm a Patriots girl. Just putting that out there for y'all. Let's do this. Let's use one of these exclam exclamation points. Just notate that I paid the bill, paid that um, Friday. I also, so yeah, I didn't watch the Super Bowl, um, nor did I tune in for the halftime show. Um, Rihanna's great, but I, just, I don't know. I just, I wasn't into it this year. And it's not because my team wasn't there. It's just, I haven't, I didn't really keep up with the games. So, you know, I kept the same energy this whole entire season. And here and there, I would catch a game or catch scores or look at playbacks. But I just didn't feel anything. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. That's what I was doing. I'm going to use this little pumpkin flag here and there. And I'm just going to put down that I was testing printer paper, which was... And I was just going to return it, but then, this is the paper from earlier that I was talking about, but then it said, please try to, con you know, please contact us if you have any issues. So they obviously want you to try to contact them before you go doing any kind of returns. I'm putting this here, and I'm just going to notate that I did... email them but they didn't answer in a in a good time so paper went away um that's that but yeah that's it was very cute to see um yeah sunday i did the amazon return for that paper um Amazon return and then I also did an order so I took the credit <laughs> or the you know they turn it back to your cart there all this time I was looking for a money thing there was one right here um and I bought cat food cat deodorizer cat litter so it was not a loss at all uh uh, Saturday, I went to pick up the paint, so let's do, yeah, next year I think my brain will be able to, I'm just gonna, whoa, that's cricket. I want to pick up the paint. 
Oh, yeah. Free Chipotle. How I got that was through, there was like this class, <laughs> class action suit out there from year, oh, quite a bit ago when I submitted my information. I'm big on submitting my, submitting my information on all those because you will find something that you apply for. And I've gotten paid. I've gotten paid. So I had free Chipotle on Saturday, which was great. Um, speaking of oh. Sunday, let's use this little guy and just notate that it was the Super Bowl. And I'm just going to put down that it was Kansas versus Philly. And they won. Um, so yeah, that was that. Super Bowl returned. We got that. Um, and then I worked on listing books for um so i have a bookshelf full of books and i wanted to really know what ones or what books or you know just what i had because i bought an an insert that goes into my good reader app on my iPad that allows you to upload like a little picture of the book. Um, you can do rating or whatever, but I'm going to use it as so I know what books I have on my shelf so that I, when I go buy a new book or I get interested in something, it's not like, you know, monotonous, you know, because I have a tendency to buy a lot of English history books like British history is my thing. It's my jam. So... Any effort to not buy books that are kind of similar to what I already have, I put the notated them all. Let's use one of these stickers to just I just want to fill in spots. So I'm gonna use a Terra sticker here. to kind of just fill in what's going on here so yeah I listed them in my iPad so that I now know what I have um and it looks pretty decent I mean it's doing what I you know for what for what I wanted to do or whatever you know I know what I'm talking about um I'm just going to use this little girl right here to kind of like notate that that's what I was doing. I wasn't watching the Super Bowl. I was doing that. Okay. So I think I got everything. I'm going to kind of try to rewrite and make this a little bit bolder. It's... It's hot. It or it's hot. Um, it's hard writing on whiteout. I don't like the way it looks, but whatever. Okay, so let me just put the dates in. Um, six. Okay, so six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what do we have left here? Um, might as well just use this um, TV for, I guess, the Super Bowl, but Super Bowl that I didn't watch. <laughs> um, I'm going to use this little cleaning icon for 
cleaning that. If, if it'll come up. If it doesn't come up, we're not using it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's do... Let's put that here. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. And then... Let's use this shopping cart for when I ran air. Ooh. Nope, the wheel came off, so we're not doing that. That's oh, that was the thing I was gonna tell you guys about the printer paper. I'm still trying to get down to the correct cut settings um so that it makes so it's just easier to get through or to get up off the page. But I'm not complaining. Free 99, you know. All right, so that does it, guys. That is what happened last week. Um, I hope to see you guys again. Um, and if you guys have any questions, just leave them at the bottom. You know what I'm saying. Uh, I'll talk to you guys again. Have a good day.